east and the wind's lighter here compared with Saturday. But in the west, we'll start to see outbreaks of rain develop and further rain to come on Sunday night. When the weather can't make up its mind, we can help you make up yours. Check on the BBC Weather app. Exploring the media revolution. Everyone's entitled to an opinion. What they're not entitled to do is invent facts. Get the background on the biggest stories. It's not so much that there's a risk you're being played, it's just that you have to go into it with your eyes open. The battle for influence and attention. The moment you have rage and conflict, the algorithms go, we like this. And the companies shaping the future. Linear television will die over time. The Media Show. Watch on BBC iPlayer. Live from southern Israel, this is BBC News. A temporary ceasefire in the Israel-Gaza war. We're now six hours into the four-day pause. Some Israeli hostages and Palestinian prisoners are due to be released in around three hours from now. Some civilians in Gaza are heading north despite Israeli military uh, dropping leaflets, warning them to stay in the south. And this is the scene live right now at the Rafa crossing where humanitarian aid is starting to move in a larger amount into Gaza. I'm Sarah Campbell. One other top story. Police arrest 34 people in a Dublin riot. Violence broke out after a woman and three children were hurt in a knife attack. As Taoiseach, I want to say to a nation that is unsettled and afraid, this is not who we are. This is not who we want to be. And this is not who we will ever be. BBC News, I'm Anna Foster here in southern Israel. It is just after one o'clock in the afternoon, local time. And this is a crucial day, an important day in the Israel-Gaza war, because for the first time in the almost seven weeks since this conflict began, on the 7th of October, fighting in Gaza has stopped. Now, the ceasefire came into effect at 7 o'clock local.